Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Last episode, we kind of been pussyfooting around, trying to find ways of carving away allies, or at least separate states in the Holy Roman Empire. Not having a very good time of it. They seem pretty solid right now. The only progress I've made is, in the past, I managed to take out uh, Bohemia. I carved it straight in half and grabbed their capital, Prague, which was a big boon for me. That actually really helps out a lot, and that actually puts me into Saxony and Vine right here, two different trade nodes. Which is not really doing me too much in terms of trade, because right now it's mostly Krakow and uh, Baltic Sea. But it's still okay, it's still good that I have that. So we're uh, slightly increasing the size of our military, more cannons, more more cavalry. Definitely need to get good, uh, uh, good healthy amounts of cavalry, just because we have very, very good winged hussars right now. Uh, we have, uh, I think it's a 33% boost to cavalry combat ability, so they're definitely going to be really good in the shock phase. So we have 12, 8, and 5 here. That's pretty good. And uh, I ran out of all my money. Okay, all of our truces just expired. I've been trying to get England on my side. Haven't had very much luck on it. We're both Protestants, so that's the only thing we really got going for us. Still not willing to accept it, but it's close. No longer considers Poland as a rival. That could be good for me. Oh, interesting. I'm allied to their rival, which is who? Spain, Austria, Lithuania. Lithuania. Hmm. If I could get the Ottomans to fight Austria and the Holy Roman Empire with me... That could be something. That could indeed be something. Protestant faith does not load royal marriages to other religious groups. That makes sense. We still improve relations here, though. What about alliance? Form an alliance. Uh, Poland is allied with Lithuania. That's the biggest thing. Not in the same religion group. Attitude towards Poland. Polish army strength. Polish navy state. Okay, so, well... At least they don't really see me as a rival anymore. That's good. I definitely think that's going to work to my advantage, especially with them having this big border with the Holy Roman Empire. If maybe I could wait for these two to come to blows, wait for a war to erupt between them, then maybe I can pounce and grab those lands from Pomerania. That could work to my advantage. Alright, what do we got going? Oh, pretty much all these things. Um... Yeah, it looks like everything's going to be pretty safe to me to for me to grab right now. Uh, better forts. Better cavalry. Got to do it. So, now, these Eastern Hussars are going to be reformed Eastern Hussars. Even more powerful. Uh, we're going to get the Gallia Galliaeus, I think that's pronounced. Is that really 600? Seems like a lot. I guess we'll take it. And we're going to get the next admin tech, which isn't really going to do much for us. Alrighty, so. Government. I don't think I can change the government type. Can't upgrade the government. <sighs> Who's got a claim right now? 432, that's a good guy. This guy kind of sucks. What I need to do is try to get another... I, I need to re-solidify that personal union. But I need prestige to do that, and I have none. But I can get prestige through war. Alright, I'm not sure why it even lets me accrue this anymore, even though uh, I, I, I filled them out. I would imagine that it should get rid of that once that happens. Alright, so admin. Task modifier, missionary strength. Uh, let's go with missionary strength right now and get the rest of the country converted pretty quickly. So close. The alliance is not close. But the royal marriage is. I really wish we could get a royal marriage with England because maybe we could, you know, like parlay that into an alliance. And if we can get the, the English to fight the Holy Roman Empire with us, That'd be something to go for. Well, let's keep this going over here. Covert actions, fabricate a claim. All right. 
And I do plan on another war with Muscovy over here. So I should probably get my military over there. These guys are probably okay now. Well, these, these guys are still pissed off, but we can... No, the Bohemian Separatists are really close. So what if we... boom... Just take the, take the hit right now. Get rid of those so we don't have to worry about them. And let's move my army up here. Get them at least close together. I'm pretty much capped out on manpower now. Is that Norway? Lithuania. Lithuania has a fleet. Oh, they must have constructed it in the Black Sea and sailed it all the way around. It's the only thing I can think of. Sweden's got a nice sized fleet now. That's interesting. I'm glad I got those powerful, those uh, uh, reformed Eastern Hussars. That's going to be uh, very much to my benefit right now. So we're going to continue fabricating this claim. Heretic religion. Competing great power. God damn it, that sucks. Ah, that personal, losing that personal union with Lithuania. Not being able to form the Commonwealth. That, that's just, a, it's a kick in the teeth every episode. Every episode's a kick in the teeth. Hmm. We're just gonna keep doing it, keep doing what we're doing. Uh, recovering economy? How do we do that? I don't even, manpower reserves. Oh, yeah, that's what that was. National unrest tax modifier goes up, so we need a new mission. Naval race versus Austria. The law governs great and small. National unrest down. So, naval a race against Austria... Have a fleet equal or larger than Austria's. Naval Drishan ship cost. Rival of our rival. Or remove Bavaria from the map. Bavaria? Owns Plazen. Where's that? This one. Why do I... Oh, I, you know, we have a border right there. I didn't even realize that. Let's uh, try rival of our rival. So get our opinion with the Ottomans up. Which we're working on right now. No, we're not working on that right now. But we can try to work on that. We can try to work on that at least. Trade dispute. I, I'm always going to have a dispute with Pomerania as the thing. We're always going to come to blows. So I feel like this army should hang out down here. The smaller one should go up here. Supply limit of 18. That's a bad idea. Supply limit of 25. Let's get a leader in here. Bring in someone new. Who sucks? At least the good leader's on the big army down here. And let's go to our economic slider. Um, inflation's getting high, which is bad. We keep taking the things to, you know, like, uh, uh, that in, you know, give us power points, but in, increase our inflation. And I think I should stop doing that or I need to do something about it. Because the inflation of 7% is kind of high. Oh, nope. How close are we now? We're only two points away. Both countries are Protestant. Both uh, Polish diplomatic re reputation. British opinion of Poland. New uh, neutral attitude and distance between us. I mean, the closest borders are like here. Kind of far away. It's June. June's a good time to start a war, generally. Let's... well, we have to wait for this claim to finish. I mean, going into in, into Russia in the middle of winter might not be the best idea. Let's, for starters, let's go to our subjects. Or no, I can't tell them what to do because they're not a subject anymore, right? Forgot about that. They might not even join. I would assume they're going to join me, but I don't know if they will. Let's 
Pomeranian left the military coalition. Good. Alright, fabricated. I don't think there's any more I can do. Nope. Keep clicking the wrong buttons there. Covert. Nope. So we can declare war. And show superiority. Session of defeat, monetary reputation, claim replication. Let's try to take. Let's let's just say we'll take this one right there. Now uh, we need to go to their forts, so let's head over here, and we'll head to Moscow, and we'll immediately start sieging down their forts. We have increased artillery this time, so hopefully that should help. We they also have a army there that is not prepared for war. Well, 18 to 25. I should be able to beat them pretty easily. I have a little bit... I have much more discipline, a little bit more morale, a little bit more tactics, and a better leader. Should be fine. Yeah, we completely wiped out that army. Completely wiped it out. It's gone. Pretty much the whole country's Protestant now. That was not too bad. Not too bad at all. Look at that. Protestantism is looks like it's becoming problematic for the Holy Roman Empire. So yeah, let's uh, let's siege down these these guys. They shouldn't be too hard. I mean, yeah, look at all that artillery. That that I'm getting a huge boost from artillery. It's actually much bigger than I anticipated. I only needed five artillery pieces for the bonus. Maybe because it's early on in the game still. Well, relatively early. It's 1574? Yeah, it's relatively early still. Yeah, these guys really don't have too much to fight me with anymore. Every war they're getting weak, progressively weaker. And I'm getting progressively stronger. Oh, I just saw a breached wall there. Very nice. And Lithuania is helping, but I, it's it's a shame that it's not a personal union anymore. Uh, I'm hoping I can get some prestige from this, but prestige is really from battles. And how long have I had just this massive negative prestige? How long has it been? It's been a while. Just don't don't come hang out in the provinces I'm sieging right now, because I don't want to take massive attrition. I just want to take, like, a big swoop of land. Like, swoop. Swoop right over here. Especially Moscow. Definitely want to take Moscow. That'd make me happy. I could probably get a ri rid of a lot of forts, too, or honestly, right now. As I don't think- I don't think forts up in this region are honestly going to be necessary. I think having them on the border with Austria is more important. So I maybe keep the ones in like the big important cities and get rid of some of the other ones. These should both fall pretty soon, I think. That's yeah, all Lithuanian and Moldavian infantry there. Yep, that that's gone. Or do they have any other forts nearby? No, they don't. Basically waited a while for this war to start, but it turned out well. So we're going to wait for Moscow to fall, and then we'll keep going. Oh, nope. Not yet. Not that. You need to go here. There we go. 43% war score already. And it's just going to go up. I need to fight someone more powerful. You know what we could actually do? We could actually start working on some of this stuff now, like getting rid of some of these castles. Like, I don't think I need that one. I don't think I need this one. I want I want to keep that one. I don't want to keep this one. Keep that one, keep that one, keep that one. I feel like the one in Krakow can go. And then I'd put one here, and probably put one there. Like, super, super garrison the border with Austria. 
All right, let's see. They really don't have anything left. What I should probably do is maybe split split this army in half and let, let's do this. Uh, well, we, uh, we he's already over there. Let's uh, get him out of there. Uh, he can hang out. No, don't. Are you serious? God, see, this is I, I I'm having serious serious issues with the AI because it seems ridiculously incompetent. Just abnormally stupidly incompetent like you I'm my, your presence was not needed there you did not need to sit there and cause me thousands of men in, in attrition for absolutely no reason well, here's an army of Norwegians I can fight I'm fine doing that well, we probably have just about enough to do anything I want to do but we'll keep going for now Jan Zygmunt Dunin. Hell of a name. Versus Peter Larson. Probably take these three up here, see if we can do anything with those. We don't have a ton of admin points, and we honestly are trying to save them up. Well, that's the Golden Horde. So we're not going over there. I guess this guy is kind of done for now, so let's hang, send you back into Polish territory for now. And let's uh, split in half. Send half over here. We'll siege down these three, and then uh, see what we can do from there, in terms of war score. Oops, some more heretics are down. Only three left. Foreign air. So, 45 year old Jan Simon von Holland Horlorden. Is he. What the hell is that? Ansbach? Where's Ansbach? Let's, uh. Let's do that. Get the pole lock back in there. Alrighty, alright, this war went uh, extraordinarily smoothly. I don't think Muscovy is going to be a problem anymore. I think I basically took all of took their power base and ran with it. So uh, we got sixty percent war score. Let's see what we can get for this. Definitely want that. Ooh, already getting high in the overextension category. Do we really want to grab 71% over extension right now? Oh, we can't even... It won't let us grab that much. Really? Just those three? Alright, uh... Revoke cores. Release nations. Annul treaties. War reparations? No. I'm not gonna fly, I'm not gonna fly. Okay, I guess we'll grab these three. We'll go with that. These two armies can hang out back here. Let's... You actually go hang out in Moscow for now. We need to mothball that guy, because don't really feel like I need it up right now. And what else are we doing? We need to take care of some overextension now. <sighs> Holy shit! 300! Should we... Actually, we're very close to that. We must force the Emperor to recognize our religious rights. That's interesting. I'm honestly kind of hoping that these two guys will come to blows at some point. Alright, uh, that's we're, we're pretty close to that. Uh, it'll go down a little bit with the war exhaustion, so... Uh, not much. We're still pretty good. Man, is Moscow really that 
Eleven ten nine. Yeah, it had a heck of a development level so far. And what trade node is it in? Novograd. Okay. Local trade power. What is it? Oh, not nice, decent. That should help out a bit, though. God damn it! Are you kidding me? Another negative. Fucking hell. Is anything positive ever going to happen? Just negative, 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 negative. Who are they at war with? I don't know, nobody I care about. Well, we do have that mission to try to improve our relations here, so we'll send that off. These guys are... What do we got? Uh, we just took a little bit of a hit because of that aggressive expansion, but they're pretty far away, so they don't really care that much. Alright, so let's let's garrison this border here by building a fort. Can we just go straight to a level two, or do we have to build the level f level one first? Can we just really right there just do that? Four hundred. Yeah, I guess we can just go straight to a level two. We don't need to build the level one first. That's interesting. That is definitely interesting. I wonder if they know... Oh, well, I'm assuming they know that I'm going to try to fuck with them. I'm assuming they know. I would know. Well, I would I would hope I would know. Alright, so we should have... An, yeah, we have enough for... God, that's ugly. Look how much that costs. That's like the most expensive... I think that might be the most expensive I've ever had to pay to core something. Ah, that was pricey. Maybe I should have given it to Lithuania. Oh well, it'll be good for me. It's a rich land. Muscovite Separatists? What do we got here? Nope, that's probably not going to ever hit. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get my relations with the Ottomans that high. Competing great power, wants provinces, allied to rival, different religions. Well, at least we had that to work with. I mean, maybe once we bo garrison the border properly with Austria, we'll be able to fight them. They've got so many allies. The Pope? Well, I don't care about the Pope anymore. Well, Venice. Well, they think I'm a heretic too, but... Anybody is going to be Im important at this point. And that actually went down a little bit. Ooh, that is a bitchin' leader. 465. What did I do to piss them off? Was it was it the aggressive expansion? Eh, probably. Minus f uh, 50. God damn it. I, just, I really don't think that there is a situation where I'm going to be able to get a good a a ally. I it just feels like I'm going to have to do this myself. I think I just lost my really good leader, too. Nope. Wait. Maybe it was the Admiral. It looked like it was the Admiral. So let's drag this down a little bit. Save myself some money. Got that level 2 fort going. Right on the border there, and I feel like we should actually do a level 1 fort over here, what, too. It's the first level 2 fort I'll have constructed. All this area is going to be covered. Prog, do you have a level 1? or a level? He has a level 1 there. Alrighty, we're doing... We're doing okay. It's still a bit of a, a drag. I mean, look at... It's a pretty hideous looking country right now. Man, Austria is just a bitch and a... Bitch and a half. I could... I could start absorbing. Lose prestige, lose admin power, lose money, but gain yearly prestige. I need that... I need prestige desperately. Oh, and it's only at 2.45 per year. Is it like four something before?
thought I was at four something at least. Legitimacy, poor legitimacy, poor prestige. Really good power projection though. Plus one, plus one, plus one. That's good. Conquered province from Muscovy. Longtime rivals declared war on Muscovy. Trade power, morale, morale, defense, legitimacy, and leaders without upkeep, and an extra power point across the board. That's kind of awesome. Although having my a uh, really terrible leader right now is kind of a kind of a problem. And I think I might om I almost have enough to get that other province. I think. 153. We're close. Although, should we wait for... It'll go... I mean, it'll go down, right? Having claims almost mi only minus 10%? I thought it was more than that. National unrest, stability modifier, trade power broad, merc cost, diplo relations, better relations over time. I guess we just, uh, as soon as this hits, we'll grab it. Although... Like, is it not... Mission oh, we have a missionary there. I was like, why can't I fucking do this right now? Missionary's working there right now, but he's almost done. So as soon as the missionary's done, then we'll start coring it. And uh, Moscow is almost a core now, which is awesome. Ooh. Just jumped over in England. Am I not a great power anymore? Still no? No, still no. Damn it. Still not gonna fly. It sucks. How does Venice feel about me? They're close to wanting an alliance. I don't know if they're going to be worth anything in a war. They might not, but I can always try. Decent income right now, which I'm digging. Really good, really good income. Unhappiness. Another negative negative. God damn it. Competing great power. Apparently, maybe one of us wasn't a great power for a moment there. Yeah, I don't think an alliance with England is ever going to happen, unfortunately. Alliance with the Ottomans doesn't look like it's ever going to happen. Breslau, Mandavia, and Bender. France? No. Sweden? I mean, I could get Sweden on my side, but... They've proved to be too weak. Well, let's, uh, we, we need, we gotta have somebody. We have to get somebody on our side. I can't fight this alone. At least they have a navy. Ish. When is that going to expire? July of 1579. I don't feel like actually restoration of the Union. I mean, that'd be a... Crazy. Should we do that? I mean, what's the... They've got 26 and 19. I've got 25 and 21. It'd be an even slogging match. We would wreck each other. But it would bring the Union back together, right? Oh, and they're out... Huh. I never noticed that. Alright, th I'm thinking of trying something drastic. I'm thinking of trying something drastic. I'm seriously considering doing something crazy right now. 
I have till July to use that cost of spell eye. If I could declare, I have to break my alliance with them. I could fucking, I could, I could tag team this army. We could do it. Ooh, that's crazy. Should I fucking do that? And I might, they might drag Pomeranian into it. We fight the past, it fights back. Oh, you kidding me? Sweden, Muscovy, Pomerania, Bohemian, Austria, Moldavia, Saxony, Bavaria, and the Golden Horde's opinion of me by negative 20. Another only negative. You're kidding me. God fucking damn it. Every time. Negative, 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 negative. If I could wipe out that army first thing, we could win we could win a you know re restoration of the union thing with Lithuania. Well, that helped there. This fort is finished down here. Should we try it? Well, this episode needs to end right now, so we'll, we'll figure this out next time. If you've enjoyed this episode, folks, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.